Hello, boys and girls, this is Miss Sin, and I'm going to um, read some things and try to explain a graphic or so here to help you understand propane as an energy source, and you can help your classmates understand it. So propane is, of the 10, propane is a little different, um, how we use it for the most part. Um, the first paragraph here tells you that propane is a non-renewable energy source. So when you read through that, it'll explain why it is. Um, here it tell this paragraph here tells about the majority of the energy sources, but this is um, not how we use propane generally. Um, you might have a propane tank at your house. Some of you might for heating and cooling in your houses. Um, and you probably also have a cooking grill where you have a tank that you have propane that you have to fill it up. So that's the major use, as it says right here, um, that we use propane for. So propane, because it's a, a fossil fuel, all right, um, this is the major um, steps on how that's created. This paragraph here tells you many years ago, the remains of plants and animals decayed built up in a thick layer and over time that's covered up with mud and soil and that has changed into rocks that cover the organic material from those plants and animals they trap it in the rock beneath the rocks and then many years lots of heat lots and lots and lots of pressure uh, this takes a long time it changes that organic material into coal or oil and some into natural gas. And for propane, we're gonna be focusing on this crude oil or petroleum. So the main ingredient in natural gas is methane. So the, meth the natural gas people will be telling you this. So you can skip that sentence. Scientists and engineers explore an area. They do that, they study the rocks on top of the earth, they take measurements and they decide, yes, they think there's oil underneath here or there isn't. So if it looks promising, based on their study, they drill down. Some of these areas are on land. Some are off land, deep under the ocean. So then they have to drill through all the water to get below the, the water, down into the ground beneath, beneath the water. Once this gas or, or crude oil is found, it flows up through the well. They take it into large pipelines. Um, some of this gas is then per, um, is used to produce methane, butane, and propane. That's you guys. That is separated and cleaned at a gas processing plant. So that's one of your steps. After you get it out of the ground, you have to separate it. And I'll tell you about that in a little bit. Clean it up so it can be used for our gas grills or that big tank that's out back of your house if you if you heat and cool with propane. So if you go down a little further here, you can see this graphic, and I'll come back to that in a little bit. Here it tells you this graphic here is just in one sentence says, propane is extracted or created as a byproduct during the processing of natural gas. So propane and natural gas are similar, and they both come from crude oil, which is the oil that is piped right from the ground. So this tells you based on the color here, um, what is um, created or what is obtained from that crude oil. All right, so other products, that's you guys. So if we go up here, here in this graphic, it can, kind of goes around in a circle back down here. So here's our crude oil. We're pumping it out of the ground this is called a derrick. You can see they're floating on water or it's on the ground into pipelines and they might store it or they send it up here to a plant where it's separated. All right, this is methane coming off. Um, here they're cleaning it up, absorbing that oil, um, getting it into um, change into gas, separated into gasoline. And then here it's liquid gasoline. So we, we um, have separated all the other types of things based on this down here. And we're just looking at the gasoline part here. 
So liquid gasoline, so it's LPG. So you might hear that or see those letters, liquid petroleum gas. And then that is further separated or cleaned up, as I read to you up here. And one of the things that is separated into is propane. And then this propane, once it has been separated by itself, would be put on a pipeline and then a tanker and sold to a propane company that would then sell it to you or somebody else who's going to use it to cook or heat or cool their house. So that is how propane is created. Now you can help your classmates learn more about it also. Good luck.